we're talking about logistic regression this week. And this is kind of a big shift in the course because so far in the course, we have been talking about things like, you know, we have one quantitative response variable, we have one quantitative predictor, and we're doing simple linear regression. That was like chapter zero, chapter one. Yeah, that was also chapter two was inference. So we talked about this for like two or three chapters, we did simple linear regression. And then we started adding multiple quantitative predictors and we did multiple linear regression. And we kind of said, okay, well, you could also put in some categorical variables in there and that would be multiple linear regression. And we spent quite a few chapters on that as well. And then we took a little break in unit B, or I don't know, a detour or something like that, where we said, well, what if you had a quantitative response variable and one categorical predictor, you could do one way ANOVA for that. Um, you could also think about it as simple linear regression, but in a certain way, it, it can be thought of as ANOVA. And then we also did two-way ANOVA where we had a quantitative response variable and two categorical predictors. But again, that's basically just multiple linear regression. It's just a different way of thinking about it. And then the thing that is different now that we're in unit C, which is about logistic regression, is we're going to change the kind of response variable that we can have. So before it was always a quantitative response variable. And then we, the thing that was different was all the different uh, special cases for special types of predictors. And now we're changing the response variable. It's going to be a binary categorical variable. Binary means it just has two possible choices. So it could be like a zero or one or a yes, no. Another example that I usually say is a binary variable would be whether you like your coffee hot or cold. There's probably no one whose preferred coffee temperature is kind of like room temperature, lukewarm. Like people like iced coffee or they like hot coffee. There's not kind of like a lot of in the middle. So uh, logistic regression is gonna work with that binary type of categorical variable. There's um, like extensions to this where you could have a categorical variable with more than two categories, but we're not going to talk about that in this class. So we're starting off chapter nine, I'm pretty sure is just about simple list logistic regression. And then, you know, we have multiple predictors, which could be categorical or quantitative that's in chapter 10. And that would be multiple logistic regression. Uh, which is going to be pretty similar. In fact, I think that in my lab, I already am starting to show you some multiple logistic regression because I, I don't think it's that different, um, especially because we've spent so much time thinking about simple linear regression and then how that sort of uh, develops into multiple linear regression. So um, I have an example that I'm going to use as a motivation today in my kind of lecture slides. And it's a football related example. And I apologize in advance, I'm not a football person. So you may have to help me here. So this is about making field goals, which is when someone kicks the ball through the, I don't know, goal posts, the end zone. I think it has to go through the kind of upright thing um, for it to count. It, it Just because you kick it into the end zone, it doesn't count but I'm not entirely sure. So I have this variable, it's called good, and that means whether or not the kick was good, whether they got the points or not. And so if it's one, that means it, it worked, they got the points, and zero means you know they missed, it didn't go far enough, or it went off to the side, or whatever the other things are that can go wrong um, with, with kicking the football. And I'm gonna use a quantitative predictor, which is the distance away from the end zone. So you could be 40 yards from the end zone, you could be 60, you could be 20, things like that. And um, I've got kind of a lot of overplotting here. I assume that there's a lot of points that are down here where they were really close and they made it, but it just looks like one point. Um, and I guess I don't know, you know, maybe this is just one time that it was missed. So I should have maybe made um, some opacity so that you could see the overplotting here. But I think the main thing to um, take away from this is that uh, there's some variability in the distance for the kicks that were good. And there's also some variability in the distance of the kicks that uh, were not. And we want to try and model, you know, we want to be able to predict is someone going to be able to make the kick or not based on the distance. 
So given the tools that we, we have in our toolbox so far, we could use simple linear regression. So the blue line is a simple linear regression line. I'm gonna try and extend it a little bit. It's hard for me to get the slope exactly right, but just pretend like that is all a totally straight line. And so we could use simple linear regression just to fit a line through it. And what's the problem with just doing this? Does anyone see anything that looks particularly bad here? Yeah, totally. So uh, if I was at, you know, 40 yards, we'd say, okay, we want a prediction. What, you know, what would it predict? Uh, it would predict that you zero point, I don't know what this is, 85, you 0 0.85 made the field goal. Um, that doesn't really make sense. So um, yeah, I'll write, uh, there's bad predictions. That's one thing that is wrong. Anything else that you see that looks kind of problematic? So one thing is it goes like 0.85 uh, is it, you know, it's either zero or one, you either made it or you didn't. So 0.85 field goal making doesn't make sense. But even more than that, uh, it doesn't make sense if you're like, okay, I was, you know, 10 yards uh, from the end zone. And then the model would predict that I, uh, you know, like 1.1 made it. Well, that really doesn't make sense. That's not sort of in between making it and not making it. That's like I extra made it or something. And then I guess I don't remember how long a football field is in yards, but if you were really far away, then we would like guess that you kind of like negative made it, that, that you really, really didn't make it. So um, the predictions uh, can go outside uh, zero, one. So that's a bad thing as well. And then I think also the slope doesn't make sense. That's my third thing. So I don't actually have the numbers here. Um, this was a more conceptual example, but you know the way that we usually do the slope is you know for a one yard increase, uh, we would expect the making a field goal to go down by a certain amount. Um, that doesn't really make sense to us. So, uh, so simple linear regression when you have a binary response variable is a bad approach. We don't want to do it this way.